Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Excel 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to copy the contents of a cell to a range of cells using the fill handle. Let's get started. So you'll see that I have my revenue chart right here along with 2018 revenue listed here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is calculate the total of these by using the auto sum button in the home tab editing group auto sum and I click on that and that's going to give me the sum of B4 to B7. Alright so after I complete this by pressing tab you'll see that my total is 9700. Now if I know that this formula is correct and I can always double check by clicking on it and just making sure that the formula shows equals the sum and then the cells that are contained are the correct cells. Once I know that I have the formula correct I can use the autofill handle to copy that formula over to any adjacent cell either to the right or below okay and so here's how that works and so I have my uh, correct formula here and then notice that as you hover around the border you get this four directional arrows this is how you move a cell and this is how most of the border looks but if you look in the bottom right of the border you're going to see this green square that green square, if you hover over it, it's going to change from that four directional arrows to a black plus sign. This black plus sign is your auto fill or your fill handle. And what this allows you to do is take the formula in the cell that you have currently selected and copy it to an adjacent cell. So in this case, I want to copy it to 2019. And so the way that I do that is I hover right over that black plus sign and I drag to the right and you'll see that as I drag to the right the green border moves and then I will release my mouse and you'll see that I get 11,600. Now I always like to double check my formula so I could click on that formula and if you're using a PC you're going to see the function keys up at the top. You could press that F2 function key to go into the cell and or you could double click in the cell either one is fine and you're going to see it says equals the sum of C4 through C7. And so this is the correct formula. So we see that that autofill handle, it copied the formula over, but it's not uh, copying the cells that are over here in column B. Since I moved it over, it moves relative with the reference, which means it also gets moved over to column C. So now I can move it over to column D and I get my total of 13,160 for year 2020. So that's pretty good. Now the cool thing is that you could you can actually do more than one cell at a time. You can do as many cells as uh, you need the formula for. So down here I have my expenses and so I'm going to click on that. I'll go to the bottom right where I get the black plus sign which is our auto fill handle and I'm actually going to drag all the way through 2020 this time and then release my mouse. And you'll see that it calculates the expenses for that region as well. So that's pretty cool, right? We can uh, copy a formula right across uh, using that autofill handle. And so now we're going to try it in a couple different ways here. So I'm going to go right down here and I'm going to calculate profit. And so I'm going to do that by using subtraction. So I'm going to start with the equal sign. And I'm going to take my revenue for 2018, which is in B8, put a minus symbol and then take my expenses which is uh, for 2018 that's in cell B16 and I'll press tab to finalize that and I get a profit of 84.55 this formula it's not a sum function it's a, a subtraction uh, uh, this one is subtraction and so all we have to do is once it's correct move it on over and there we go now we see the uh, autofill handle has added that formula over here as well. And again, I could always double click in these just to double check that it's done correctly. All right, now the cool thing about the autofill handle is it doesn't just work for formulas. It actually will find any pattern within your uh, document. So I could go down here a little bit and let's say that I wanted to do uh, January, February, and usually I use two as a rule of thumb here, but if I highlight these two cells, it's going to look at the pattern between these. And if I go to the bottom right and start to drag across, see how it says March, April, May, June, July, all the way through December and then it'll repeat and go back to January. So pretty cool way to easily get all of the months there. And so that's pretty pretty good. And then I could even add in days if I wanted to, one, two, three. It'll copy the formula of the days as well. So you can see if I drag that down. As long as I highlight again the uh, pattern, in this case one, two, and three, and drag down, it's going to repeat or it's going to continue that pattern. This also works for things like two, four, six, if I was doing uh, even numbers here. 
you guys will see that all of the even numbers are now added in. So pretty good way to just continue any formula or any pattern that you currently have going. Um, it'll even work with dates, say 1-1-2019, 1-2-2019. One, 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 this will work on dates as well, so uh, you'll see that's through January 12th. So there's a lot of different ways that you can use that autofill handle. You can use it for formulas, any formula that you've uh, set up uh, on a cell, or you can use it for any patterns on any cells. So Excel is really, really good at figuring out what you're trying to do and continuing that pattern so that you don't have to type so much. So hopefully this video has helped you out. If it has, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.